people started thinking about how to get power from fuel already in the last century. A device that is more similar to the expected effect was patented by Mr. Nikola Tesla under the name Apparatus for the Utilization of Radiant Energy. In the older technical language, the concept looks rather simple. An isolated metal plate is lifted as high up to the air as possible. Another metal plate is placed in the ground. A cord is then stretched out from one metal plate to the other side of the capacitor and the second cord goes from the ground to the other side of the capacitor. The Sun, just like any other radiant energy sources, discharges small particles of positively charged matter, which hit the upper plate and impart a continuous electric charge to it. The capacitor's terminal, that is located on the opposite side, is connected to the ground. The ground itself can be viewed as a large reservoir of negative electricity. A very low current continuously flows into the capacitor, and since the particles are charged to a very high potential, such charging process can in fact last forever, up until the dielectric's breakdown point. This device, with an incredibly simple structure, seems to prove Tesla's claim that he has created a flueless generator fed by space rays. But the scientists didn't stop there. He then started developing a so-called self-activating machine. But this is the beginning of a different story, and we'll save it for the next time.